Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the La Liga team of the season, weekend league sell-off, and I guess I'm going to label it a market crash because uh, this market, from what we are realizing now and what we saw kind of yesterday and now seeing today, moving into Sunday with more weekend league sell-off happening, this market does not have a lot of coins, and uh, that is showing with the drop on some of these La Liga team of the seasons and also the Premier League team of the season cards uh, a lot of them are dropping like rocks right now. It is crazy. Uh, and that is telling me this market does not have a lot of coins. Yesterday in the video, I had a lot of people asking me, hey, if I have Premier League team of the season cards, uh, should I be selling them soon? And I said, yes. I think I told a lot of people to get out of their cards this morning, um, which was Saturday morning or Friday night, which I think a lot of you guys did, which was good because if we take a look at some of the Prem cards, uh, that were that rose a lot after rewards on Thursday. A lot of these guys have gone down loads in price. Look at this, bro. Sergio Aguero was 2.4 million coins this weekend. The dude is now 1.97. There's an entire page under 2 million coins uh, of Team of the Season Aguero, which is crazy, bro, because this card is literally down 500k from where he was yesterday. Um, and you know, there's even cards dropping more than that, right? I want to take a look at these Tots Prem cards and talk about why this market is so broke, why nobody has coins and why stuff is going down. And then also talk about this week, what we can see or what, what I think is going to happen with some of these La Liga cards. But I want to talk about the Prem cards first, because look at these prices, bro. Aguero 1.99 again, uh, this guy, I'm pretty sure was two five. Maybe not 2.5. He was 2.5 the first weekend, but what was he on Friday, right? Friday, Aguero was 2.3 mil. He boomed up to two, basically 2.4. Yesterday, he was 2.2, and he continued dropping all day today, now under 2 million coins. And that's been the case with a lot of these. Van Dyke was 2.9 mil. He's now 2.4. Kevin De Bruyne was 4.2. He's now 3.8. I think Sun was 1.9. Aubameyang was 1.9. Um, Salah was 1.3, almost 1.4. So a lot of these cards are even on the lower end, right? Trent Alexander-Arnold was 420, 430. He's now 380. Rashford, I think, was like 650 maybe. He's now back down to 595. A lot of these cards have dropped in price, again, because people don't have coins on this game right now. What happened was everybody... Um, th this is such an EA masterclass of a move. It's always... We see stuff like this on the market, and we realize that EA was just behind this and that they had thought about this all along. Remember last week when people were spending 30,000 coins per upgrade pack to buy rare gold cards from the Premier League to do the four rare gold players upgrade, the premium Premier League upgrade or whatever it was called. People were spending 30,000 coins a pop to do those SBCs. And they did them Monday to Wednesday. Then the good SBC came out on Thursday. People drained even more coins into that. And evidently, so many people did that in from the Monday through Thursday into Friday time frame during Prem Tots that that just absolutely killed a lot of people's coins budgets, even after rewards and even after Premier League team of season rewards put millions of coins onto the market. We saw a, a rise, right, in a lot of the upper tier players. Uh, but some of that rise is coming down now with the team of the seasons because it is obvious to me that people need coins because they're finishing the weekend league and people like to have coins to do S stuff during the week, do SBCs and just have their coins liquid to try players and buy players. Um, but also... Nobody wants to buy those cards, and that's why you're seeing a lot of the sell-off this week. I really think a lot of these dropping prices are due to that SBC right there and due to the fact that nobody has coins right now on this game. We need another set of rewards, honestly. Uh, the elite rewards that are coming this Thursday uh, are going to be the only thing that's really going to put some, some coins back onto this market. And it's not going to put that many coins onto the market because if you look at La Liga Team of the Season cards... What somebody's going to make from rewards this week is probably not going to be anywhere near close to what you would have made last week with Prem, right? Last week, at the very least, you made like 350 to 400,000 coins. This week, you could very easily get this Berchiche, you could easily get Parejo, and you could get Lucas Perez, Ocampos, and Berchiche, and you're making right there about, you know, 210,000 coins. Maybe by the time Thursday rolls around, these guys will both be like, 50k and then Berchiche will be like 85k you know what I'm saying so we're not going to be make, we're not going to see as much of a rise in the market this week now there's still a possibility to get a lot of coins from rewards of course if you hit Messi if you hit a Griezmann Benzema Varane Ramos but a, the 
amount of coins possible from elite and above packs this week is just not as high as it was last week. But there's still going to be some coins on Thursday, so we'll talk about that when it comes. But since we are now transitioning out of the weekend, right, we're seeing all these prices drop. Tons of people are losing coins, right? What is going to happen again this week? Well, EA is probably going to be dropping more upgrade SBCs, which is going to continue to drain coins and make these La Liga cards go lower. And then basically, and this is what last last week with the Prem cards, whenever the guaranteed team of the season pack comes out, that is literally what everybody looks forward to. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in the video tomorrow, but everybody in this game is looking forward to the Premier League team of the season guaranteed, or excuse me, the La Liga team of the season guaranteed pack. That's what literally this entire game looks forward to during the week. Maybe some upgrade SBCs if they come out um, and, and some of that, but that SBC really holds the weight of the entire week. And after that, after that, people feel like they can go buy cards because, hey, they didn't pack this card, so they're going to go have to buy it or whatever. Um, so that's a big thing that we're going to have to watch for coming this week. But I just want to talk to you guys about this market today because it is going down. If you have not sold cards already, you're probably going to be selling at a low, low price. Um, and it's not going to be very good for you because you're probably losing some coins, which is obviously not ideal. But... I do think a lot of these, even the Prem team of the seasons that are out of packs now, I think these guys do drop headed into the rest of this week. I really think they're going to continue dropping in price because nobody's going to want to buy cards during this week um, just because the hype is not around buying players for weekend league. The hype is not around like nobody plays the game during the week. It's literally just about the menu content from Monday to Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's weekend league. So I would expect La Liga Tots, um, Prem team of the seasons and other out of pack specials on this game to just stay very, very low for this entire week and just continue to go down in price. Maybe not a crazy drops like you saw on Saturday, and maybe you'll see a little bit more of a drop on Sunday, but probably just staying at a low price until later in the week when we get rewards. Uh, so that's how I feel about kind of those cards. And the rest of the market is dropping as well. If we look through some of the other team of the weeks, other out of pack special cards, right? Uh, foot birthdays, right? Let's go foot birthday squad two. Pugba is down like 150k. Bale is back down. Di Maria, Lacazette, like all of these guys. Wow, this Van Dyke was 1.4 million on Friday, right? All of these guys are getting panic sold because the weekend league is ending and nobody is buying these cards. So what happens is when people are trying to sell their cards, they just keep undercutting each other, right? It won't sell at 900k. So they go 875 and then people just keep undercutting and undercutting and it keeps going lower. This Mbappe was above 5 million. This Rashford was 1.25. Griezmann was uh, inflated a bit. This is interesting to me because um, this is this card is lower than what he was last week. He, he was 870 last week. Now he's 858 week in league sell-off. Again, that shows me that st since stuff is going lower than last week, people must have drained so many coins into those upgrade SBCs, and I'm worried that it's going to happen again this week. If EA drops the same... Um, what is that? The booster pack? The four rare gold players from La Liga. If EA drops that same SBC this week, I'm a little bit scared that people are going to be losing more coins throughout the week um, until the guaranteed SBC comes because, and until rewards come, uh, because that's all that there is to do on this game during the week. But the other thing that I want to talk about today uh, is a massive SBC, a very sought after player in FIFA. Uh, Ansu Fadi got himself an SBC today. This was a big time GG from EA. The price, I think the price could have been a little bit cheaper, right? It's like 150, 160K for this card. Um, and yes, it is a good card. And a lot of people are doing this SBC. And why? when I mean a lot, I'm saying a ton of people are doing this SBC because it's in that price range where a lot of people can do it. It's Ansu Fadi. He doesn't have a card on FIFA, I don't think. Um, and I think they just added him in this year to give him this SBC. I don't think he had a card before this. Am I correct on that? Okay, he does have a card. That's right. He's got a, he's got a silver. Never mind. He does have a silver. But um, this Ansu Fadi is somebody that was talked about as possibly getting an SBC. And he they, they, they gave him one. So this is a GG from EA for giving us this SBC. I don't feel like this card is that insane. He's got 99 agility, 99 balance. Um, but this is like a hype, fun player. So I commend EA on this one. And this is what I want to show you, right? This is this is one way where I know how hyped up and how special a card is to the FIFA community. I look at this button right here. The number of likes on a player on Footbin tells a lot about the story of how good this card is. 
and if people are a fan of this card being in the game. This Ansu Fadi card, right? 3,358 likes. I looked through the entire La Liga team of the season. There are there are no cards that even come close to that many likes, right? Uh, let's let's again. I'll just show you one, right? Suarez got a massive upgrade, 520 likes. Let's go to a more affordable card, Cruz. How many likes does this guy have? 800, right? Like, you can just tell. Santi Cazorla, how many likes? 2,430. So Santi Cazorla's got a, some hype with his card, right? That's something to, to take note of. But this SBC, tons and tons of people are doing this card um, for 150,000 coins. Am I going to do it? I'm probably going to do it just because uh, it's cool. And I'm probably going to be able to craft it in the next few days because I do expect upgrade packs to come out on Monday. So, I mean, again, this is a really cool SBC from EA. But now you have to kind of think about this. Everybody, or not everybody, but so many people have these Ansu Fati left wing cards in their club. What happens uh, with link investments to that card? First one here. I think a lot of people are going to link them up with this Regulian SBC or objective card because a lot of people are going to go out and complete this objective, I think. That would be a green link to him. I also think a lot of people are going to um, probably try to do that Saul Ning, the Saul Ninguez, is that his name? Niguez, Saul Niguez. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to do this SBC, link him to Ansu Fadi, uh, and then their left wing situation in La Liga is going to be set. So that created some panic selling on other left wings in the Prem or in the La Liga today. Griezmann and left wing Hazard. This left wing in La Liga is a pretty bare position already with not a lot of um, usable and meta players. Do I think that these left wings are viable? Will they be due for a rebound? My answer to that is yes. I do think this left wing Griezmann and the left wing Hazard Inform are going to be cards you want to watch this week. Um, a lot of times when we buy a substitute good, we try to do that you know, earlier on, right? When most of the panic hits. But in this case, I think this Hazard and the Griezmann left wing will actually drop more as we head further out of weekend league, right? Griezmann, before this week, I think it was like 120, right? So... He rose up a little bit this weekend because of the hype around La Liga team of the season. But right now, lo looks like he's back to 120 or even under 120K. Again, if you're somebody who likes to invest in these sort of things, once the Ansu Fadi SPC goes away, um, there will still probably be some demand for Griezmann or for a left wing hazard. As people maybe who didn't do that SPC or, or they're maybe Real Madrid fans, they don't want to do a Barcelona SPC or whatever. I do think you will see... These two cards rise up a little bit, but I don't think they're going to hit their lowest yet. Uh, since Ansu Fadi is out for a few days, this might be an SBC that some people are going to end up crafting through upgrade packs like myself. And I would expect to see those Hazard and Griezmann informs hit their lowest in the next two to three days. So just kind of watch out for those prices. If you see a big hit on them, then maybe, maybe you can invest in some of those. I'll probably be buying some of those at some point uh, in the next few days. Um, but... That's what my thoughts are about that card right there. And I think that might have also kind of helped, or not helped, that also could have been a part of the market crash of, of prices going down today because of that SBC just a little bit. I want to give you guys on an update on some flips and some coins that I lost this weekend as well. I tried to flip a bunch of cards yesterday. It really did not work. Some of them were dubs. Some of them were not. In total, this card right here, if I would not have bought this Suarez, I would have came out okay yesterday. Um... Friday night into Saturday, basically, with some of my flips. But I lost, I bought this card for 2 million coins, tried to flip it at 2.2. Two. He went back to 2.16 before he started going way down. Uh, so I lost a lot of coins on that card right there. But I made some of that up with these four Benzema's were all bought at a million coins flat. Uh, so I made about like 150, 170K on these, actually a little bit more than that, almost 200,000 coins from these Benzema's. Uh, that was a GG there with those. I bought this Fakir at 680. I bought these Trents at 400. So I lost on a few of these. Got a couple lazy buyers. Carva Hall was a good one for me. I think I bought eight or nine Carva Halls at 325. Sold a few of them at 377. And then the others I had to get out at 329. These were both losses. I bought at 840 a piece. Uh, and then I'm just kind of selling some of these Dembele's as well. But I did do a massive club stock and i actually invested in some fodder today boys i bought some good i bought some center back uh and center mid with good links fodder for the club like i did a massive club stock on fodder it was actually upwards of like two million coins of fodder that i put in my club today i literally bought as many players as i could because 
Um, again, it's, it's going to be more SBCs happening throughout the week this week. And I feel like this is uh, just the thing to do during the week. So you do a club stock during the week. It goes up at some point. You sell it. And then you rebuy on the weekends when that goes down. So you can tell I got a lot of the UCL versions of the uh, rare golds and the high rated fodder and also the gold version. So if you have not done that yet, if we do go to the cheapest players by rating on footbin, um, 84s and 85s went up a little bit today. 85s went up the most uh, because of that Ansu Fadi SBC requiring 285 squads. I mean, all these guys were in the 5K range. Like Icardi this morning, I bought two at 5K. I bought... Um, Lukaku at 5.7k. He's up a thousand coins. I bought Donnarumma at 6k flat. James Rodriguez was like 6,400 coins this morning. I think he's now like 8k or something like that. But 86 is at 14 to 15k are not bad at all. 87s at 20, 22, not bad. 88s under 30 are solid, and 89s under like 38, 39 are really, really solid as well. Again, Koulibaly, uh Chiellini, those are the types of guys that really go up the most in an SBC scenario. Um, because of the chemistry links that they do provide. And this is one thing to think about, right? We just came off a week in foot where lots of people now have in their club untradeable, uh, whether it was through red weekend league rewards or they packed cards from upgrades. Um, they have untradeable versions of Prem Team of the Season cards, uh, even like in Diddy and SBC, right? Some people are going to be starting to turn in some of these TOTS cards, honestly, uh, that they don't need, right? Maybe they have like an extra, a Dean Henderson, right? A lot of people probably have, do I have a Dean Henderson? I think I submitted my Dean Henderson in the club, but um, Premier League fodder and La Liga fodder are gonna be two, if you can look at some like positional and links for fodder this week, I would say focus on Premier League and La Liga when you're buying some fodder out there. That's why you saw me buy up some Alderweire Relds. That's why you saw me buy some Vertonghen, some Laportes, and then David Silva, uh, is one of my favorites this week as well. If you can snag some of him, I, I, I'm fine with David Silva in like the, uh, the under 30,000 coin range, because that's a really good link for a lot of the SBCs that you might need to do this week coming up ahead. So again, summarize of summary of the video today, a summarization of the market as well. Stuff is probably going to keep going down today into Sunday, right? Uh, again, I talked about this Ramos yesterday. Uh, with the right back card being much more popular in this game because of how many people did the SBC. Not as many people want the center back version of, of Ramos. Man, look at this. Footbin says his cheapest price is 1.02. Look at how many pages here are at 1.02, 1.03. It's crazy. Uh, the supply on these La Ligas, these are going to keep going down. The Prem team of the seasons are going to keep going down. And it's going to be just more of a coin loss. People selling at a loss as they exit the weekend league. And it's going to probably get pretty low tonight on Sunday night. That's going to be something that we'll have to watch kind of interestingly. Um, but I don't think I would really get involved with too much of it yet. Because again, the main thing that the week revolves around in the midweek, this game revolves around in the midweek, is that guaranteed team of the season SBC. So once we hear about that, we'll start to talk about it. But hopefully we get some cool content again today on Sunday. Another player SBC would be sweet, EA Sports, if you're listening. Or maybe even drop upgrade packs a day early. Give us something to do. Uh, on the game midweek because again this week is just probably not going to live up to the hype um, unless they really bring it with the SBC content which they have so far this has been pretty solid SBC content so far uh, unless they up their game again with that this week is not going to be as hype as last week with the Prem just because it's the, the players are just a little bit less valuable I think as a whole and the Premier League is just the most hype league um, in in this game and with a lot of the people that play FIFA as well. So that's how I feel about the market, right? Stuff is going to continue going down. If you haven't sold, um, I would say maybe you try to get out earlier on Sunday if you can, because I do think some stuff could continue to drop as we go into Sunday night. And as these TOTS cards get packed again with more lightning rounds and a squad battle reward supply. And then we'll talk about the rest of the stuff in tomorrow's video on Monday, where we'll take a look ahead into the week and then start to more theorize, hey, when are these cards going to be their lowest? When are these La Liga team of the season is going to actually be a buy? And we'll kind of talk about that later this week. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you're losing coins because I lost coins today, right? If you didn't lose coins, then you're in the minority is what I feel like. So comment down below if you have any questions, of course, as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, all right? It's been Nate, the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.